be starting shortly with education. Thank you very much. Good morning. I'm Councilmember Mark uh, Traeger, Chair of the Education Committee. Member, uh, thank you for joining us today as we vote on proposed introduction numbers 561A and 672A, which I am proud to sponsor. I'd like to thank the members of the Education Committee who are here, uh, Councilmember Kalos, Councilmember Levine, Councilmember Cohen, Councilmember Lander, Councilmember Deutsch, Councilmember Rose, Councilmember Brennan, and Councilmember Borelli. And Councilmember Rodriguez, and Councilmember Barron. And Gordanchik. And Councilmember Gordanchik. <laughs> I cannot forget the parks chair. Yeah. Proposed intro number 561A would require the DOE to report the income in total expenditure of parent associations and parent teacher associations in New York City public schools, desegregated by community school district and school, and school information would also be, dis be desegregated by student demographics, including race, ethnicity, and English language learner status. PTAs and PAs have the potential to raise substantial amounts of money and effectively increase opportunities at a school, while neighboring schools may struggle with budget constraints. Proposed intro 561A would bring transparency to the contributions made by PTAs and PAs to school budgets. And to be clear, the amount of money a PTA or a PA raises does not equate to the level of engagement in a school, but it does have an impact on the number of opportunities the school provides to students. And we're having a conversation in New York City about equity, and I don't believe that your zip code should determine the number of opportunities you should receive. So this is just a transparency bill to find out about the depths of certain inequities in our school system. We heard at the hearing that some PAs and PTAs raise over a million dollars while some lack the capacity. I think we'll learn more with the bill. Proposed intro number 672A would require the Department of Education to provide information about the Department of Citywide Administrative Services civil service examinations to students including information about the city's civil service process, such as the application process, hiring system, and descriptions of civil service tests, as well as the titles of upcoming exams open to high school graduates and related job descriptions, and instructions for how to find more information online. Recent studies suggest 43% or more of the city's high school graduates may be going straight to the workforce as opposed to pursuing post-secondary education. We could support them by promoting information about non-traditional career paths, including careers in the public sector. I'd like to thank the Education Committee staff for their efforts, Beth Golub, Jan Atwell, Kalima Johnson, Caitlin O'Hagan, and Elizabeth Hoffman. I'd like to also thank my staff, Anna Scaife, Vanessa Ogle, uh, and Eric Feinberg. Uh, and and we've been joined by Councilmember Cornegy. Uh, and with that, I will ask the committee clerk uh, to please call the roll and begin the vote. William Martin, committee clerk, roll call vote, committee on education. Items are coupled. Chair Traeger. I vote aye. Barron. I vote aye. Cohen. Permission to explain my vote? Permission granted to Councilmember Cohen. 
Thank you. I just want to say I, I had some reservations about 561A. You know, I'm fully aware that not all PAs function the same way and that some don't function at all. And of course, I'm aware of the steep disparities in fundraising. Uh, however, I think that pulling this one strand out of, uh, out of the funding per pupil picture is a very limited value. Um, yesterday, I did ask Bill Drafting to see if we could draft a bill that would sort of give us a more fuller picture of, of all sources of funding, which I think would be uh, more relevant and useful in policy making decisions. Uh, but the, the bill is neutral on its face, and uh, I did have a good conversation with the chair yesterday, and uh, he convinced me of the merits of the bill. So with that, I'm going to vote aye on all. Cornegie. Aye. Deutsch. Kalos. Permission to explain my vote? Councilmember Kalos. I, I uh, was inspired by my colleague, Councilmember Cohen. I think more transparency is a good thing, and I appreciate the sponsor looking at this issue and getting it out in the open. I am hoping that this chair and committee and the body and the DOE as a whole will ensure that this information is used for positive purposes only. I grow concerned in a city of, particularly in my district, hyper-competitive parents, hyper-competitive schools, where all of a sudden how much a PTA raises will now become an indicia of whether or not a school is good or bad, despite the fact that I believe all the schools in my district are stellar. Uh, so let's just make sure that this information is used for uh, good. I vote aye. Lander. Councilmember Lander. Thank you, Mr. Chair. I'm voting aye on this bill. I'm proud to be a co-sponsor of it, and I do think the transparency here is important. This is a, a meaningful fact of resources in our public schools, and having it made public, I think, is, is, is not just appropriate, but, but the right thing to do. I will say at the hearing, the, the conversation I hope we'll have is about parent leadership for all and how we make sure that's happening in all schools, those that can raise money and those that can't raise money, you know, whether we should look at some sort of tithe model where 20% of PTA funding goes into a pot that's spread around more equally, or whether we should consider totally different ways of thinking about how the DOE can do more to engage and support parent leadership in all schools, irrespective of resources, I think is an essential conversation. There's a new deputy chancellor over this division who I hope will be able to develop that agenda with us. So I'm glad to be a co-sponsor. I'm proud to vote aye, but I agree that um, we can't stop here in the work to achieve, you know, more equal, equitable parent leadership across our school system. I vote aye. Levine. Rodriguez. Aye. Rose. Aye. Gordenchik. Aye. Brennan. Aye. Drum. Aye. Borelli. We have a vote of 14 in the affirmative, zero in the negative, and no abstentions. Both items have been adopted by the committee.